I'm Edvard Lumiere, the genius inventor. You've probably heard of my inventions. Maybe you're using one of them right now. But the chair invented that, if you're sitting in it. The special Edvard Lumiere chair that walks that, around that your house easy, with that you. That was an easy one. That was an easy one to invent. I just put some <laughs> legs on a, on a stool. Uh, I'm Casimir Jones, and if you've heard of me, then it's probably too late. Ooh! Ooh. Is everyone ready to enter my fantabulous imaginarium? We could submit total immersion, etc, etc, etc. 100%. It's nice to be asked. Oh, well, yeah. Normally you're you just get you're yeeted into the imaginarium. Yeah. yeah well, 95% immersion. To, uh, yep. You are being um, strapped into comfortable chairs and lowered into the imaginarium pool, mm. which will give you incredible powers of imagination. Casimir, got some post. Probably crime equipment, I expect. <laughs> We, it's exciting. Uh, we just call it equipment. Right. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> right, uh, I'm, I'm new to all this. It's very exciting. I actually turned my interest uh, towards developing a better goat quite recently, actually. So I am keen to find out uh, what direction they've gone in to see how many flamethrowers they decided to use. <laughs> and uh, how they stopped them setting themselves on fire. That was a big stumbling block for my experiments. So uh, I'm actually quite keen. Um, just know that Aloysius is stood by the door dressed mm -hmm. in their <laughs> finest clothes waiting for your knock to go to cabcon which you've been promising to take them to all year they've, yeah, they've still got the corsage in the box <laughs> for what it's worth i was quite impressed with the whole um you know knocking out his majesty strong barnaby nickname when we last oh the old uh, the old snooze bomb yeah. yeah last time we ran a job together but what's with i mean Every now and then you'll look at a light switch or a padlock or a, a, you know, a moving vehicle and you'll seem, if you'll forgive me, apoplectic with rage. What's, what's that about? Do you just hate certain objects? It's, it's just Not seems like a weird... apoplectic with rage, dear boy. It's apoplectic with being right. I'd... And I'm, I'm fine with most things. It's just the inventions created by Amadeus Astor, who is a fraud and a charlatan. Um... And... You will encounter more of them than there should be in the world because he is a damn cheat and a liar mm. and a stupid idiot, and I hate him. But as you can see, I'm I'm fine with it. Oh no, and it's not even a problem. Absolutely, mate. I mean, sorry, I'm yeah, apoplectic. You're right. Gross exaggeration. Um, I meant more that you're. Um... I'm just saying that he's yeah, a fraud. No, yeah, that's yep. Yeah, that's no. That's 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 all good and well, mate. Good, and you As know. As you can see, I've I've got it under control. Completely under control. Absolutely no issues, outstanding or seething or bubbling away under the surface, whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It's good to know. Good to know. I, I lo you know, I, it's good to know you can trust the person you're about to Indeed. go. Indeed. Anyway, to Capcom. Yes. You arrive at Capcom. Um, it is housed in a a, a very very large brick building. It's sort of it, it used to be a, a warehouse, but now it's kind of the event space. It's beautiful. It's uh, it's actually um, uh, alongside a river, or, or like a, a canal. There's a large stationary ship um, uh, positioned just outside. It's kind of largely decorative. It's an old, tall ship um, of the kind that no longer are useful since um, since steam power became so prevalent. And there is a large queue uh, to get up to the to get up to the front gate of Capcom. Isn't that them there in the corner, sir? Good heavens, you're right. They must have fallen on the floor and someone must have kicked them as they walked past. How now, let me... unusual. Yeah. What a terrible calamity. Gosh, well, at least they're found. That's the main thing. These things are a gift from my grandfather. God, Casimir, look at all this incredible technology. Look at this. It's a new kind of velocipede, I think, where the, the, the front wheel is enormous and the back wheel is also enormous. The penny penny. <laughs> wow, it's Possibly incredible. the farthing farthing. <laughs> I'm not sure which is the higher value. No, I had a farthing farthing growing up. Oh. Um, oh, but I think mm -hmm. we should have a rich full day ahead of us. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, is it, uh, In your, your itinerary there, at any point does it mention, look at goat? Oh, of course, the goat. Oh, I forgot why we were here for a second. No, it's, no, no listen, mate, it's fine. You're in your element. I understand. Uh, I'd be doing similar if this was a convention about... Um, Knife murder. Yeah. yeah, so um, I tell you what. Um, I mean, Stabcon. So, <laughs> oh, you've been. <laughs> yeah, had a great time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, they say it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. <laughs> uh, 
Because yes, it's a little expensive, but we think once cab drivers get a look, get their first taste of Astor's latest innovation, uh, a little, a little innovation. It's sort of like an invention and an innovation. I know what it is. Oh, you've invented. You, you're familiar with innovation. I was the uh, first to invent. I invented <laughs> innoventing. I invent invented it. As this predictable rant um, uh, sort of explodes, I can't. I calm down. Externally, sure. Internally, <laughs> I am now studying the uh, hydraulic spoke yeah. to figure out a way to sabotage it and ruin Astor's reputation. Yeah, upon studying it, you notice that it's actually something It's very, very similar to something that you've been working on. For, uh-huh. For, yeah. uh, and, of course, poor Andrew's health has suffered terrible. Andrew gives a big cough. <coughs> mm. yes, well, I'm, Andrew, I'm could you you've... please keep it down? <laughs> yeah, and Andrew, we're trying to talk. <laughs> Andrew goes, sorry, my <laughs> Um, there is a strange tickling feeling at the base of my skull. It is the start of uh, an emotion others have told me is called guilt. Oh. Uh, and Casimir goes, Bleh! and uh, the moment passes. Good. All right. That's awesome. You resisted that guilt. So I take this as my opportunity to rub one of my alchemical preparations on to the hydraulic spoke. It's like a, a sort of slightly less extreme version of nitroglycerin. It's an, <laughs> it's an explosive... So ever casually as you like look around as if you're looking for someone see that the coast is clear and then just tuck and roll whoop, onto the ground and whoop, 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 um, yeah just underneath the stand incredible regardless of what happens mm -hmm. you in the process of investigating it are going to get covered in a conspicuous amount of grease and grime oh yeah fine like, okay, cool. It's, Curse it's... you, devil! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I mean, oh. Um, oh wait, hang on. Did I? Did I? Did I get the to, to get the balance? I meant, um, I meant acid. You, <laughs> you get covered in a conspicuous no, amount I meant was, of acid. What I meant was, Casimir. Regardless of what happens, your arm is going to get chewed up in the mechanism. Oh, <laughs> fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. You get elbow deep in this machinery. Um, God, I hope it isn't the goat. <laughs> <laughs> you get elbow deep in this goat. <laughs> At least I'll work out what it eats. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, the evidence is right here. Anyway, sorry. Is there a poo hopper, I guess, is what I'm asking. Is there a poo hopper? What kind of games master, nay, man, would I be if I said no? Okay. Um, I look mournfully at my jacket, which is already very grimy, and I yeah. kind of mutter, in for a penny. And I would like to fill my pockets with goat poo, please. That's a five. Yes. Let's get poopy. Yes. Boo! Yeah, you are not the only one. Boo! Boo. <laughs> Boo. Um, this goat looks kind of sad. Doesn't know what it did so wrong, but it is led away um, <laughs> and killed and, and <laughs> ceremonially executed. My plan is to wander aimlessly until I find Casimir. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, well, God, what is that oh, terrible smell? Uh, this, yeah. Um, what are you doing down there? What's it look like I'm doing? Well, it looks like you're rolling around in goat poop, friend. So I think backstage is the is the place to be, old boy. There's plenty of room under here. Come on, get some poo on you. Right. Well, mm, yes, again. The, the, uh, uh, uh. I'm just going to look her dead in the eyes and go, blimey, go, you eat better than I do. <laughs> Bessie hisses at you. <sighs> All right, mate. All right. Um, You're right. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Rains, 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 rains. No, I understand, mate. I understand. Cabs are laughing. Your jobs are good. Uh, Cabs are laughing. Cabs but, are laughing. But listen, mate. Like, um, you know, as you can see, I'm not averse to getting my hands dirty. But um, so I see. I, I wonder if loose, loose lips uh, trip goats and all that. Um, yeah, as the old saying goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and there is a man in a lab coat with little um, sort of circular glasses. You know, what do you call those glasses? The kind of you know, like pince nez. Pince nez, yeah, pince nez on there. Um, a very tall and thin uh, and gaunt man, and he's sort of uh, like hunched over his own clipboard, and he's looking at stuff. What? What? Come quickly, sir! Please, rain, rain, oh. rain, 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 rain. I'm not part of your disgusting union. I've come from a higher calling. If you could quit that awful street parlance around me. I'm trying to do something a little bit more sophisticated in here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, I'll show you some choking, mate. And then I'm going to duck under his arm <laughs> um, and put him in a sleeper hold. 
<laughs> yes. All right. Let's do it. The bloke who's, who's also there says, Oi, Alice, they ain't, they ain't got any lanyards. And their eyes start to widen in panic. And suddenly there is a... <laughs> a loud, <laughs> cracking explosion sound and screams are heard distantly and people start to shout, Fire! Fire! A humiliating fire at Amadeus <laughs> Astor's booth! <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's never the Astor and, uh, Astor's booth again. Oh, another Ast- a humiliating Astor accident? How is that man still in business? I cry as I run towards the fire exit. You know that Amadeus is probably not here personally, but is certainly not going to let this go and will be desperate to get to the bottom of this. I'm imagining it now and it's delicious. <laughs> this appears to be a, a, a criminal act of potential sabotage or so assert the Astor employees and uh, Lord <laughs> knows we trust them. Sure. Oi, oi, Casimir, Casimir. Casimir, it's me! Oh. It's me! Uh, and they are waving a big gondolier. Oh, there's a barbershop quartet called the the Astors uh, that's, that perform a few times daily at the Amadeus Astor stand and they are all dressed like uh, bees. CEO and hero. <laughs> not bees, not bees. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> no, actually, now it seems like it would be awful for them to be dressed as bees. Yeah. Oh. Scrawny bloke on the ship is still going, Casimir, Casimir, over here, it's your ride. I'm going to try and sneak It's the over secret to... ride you asked for. It's your secret gondola. <laughs> Come on, Casimir. And your mate. Oh, is that Edvard who you were telling me about? Shush. Old, over here. old man. I slap him silly once we are around the corner. <laughs> you tell oh, this... Mr. Casimir. You Did tell I this fellow wrong, my name sir? as well, Casimir. I was just having oh. a chat. Um, oh, oh, I, oh. Yeah, well, I oh, I thought I could trust this little twerp to be circumspect. Oh, Mr. Casimir, I'll never do it again. I won't let you down Too or right you, you, Mr. Edvard be. Lumiere. My part of the bargain is I won't slap him around anymore. That's more than fair. Okay. <laughs> That's more than fair. It hardly ever bursts into flames. You know what does burst into flames a lot? Astor's Astor stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see what happened at the Capcom the other day? Yeah. That's the word that's going round. Who were the two mysterious figures who were definitely named Casimir and Edvard who were, who were seen, who were heard leaving? 